Hi, it's JW. I've uh, got a couple of electricity meters to look at in this video. Uh, they're both Ferranti meters of fairly similar style. Uh, that's the first one. Actually, it's got some uh, yellow label in there from when it was presumably refurbished or uh, something was done to it before. And then there's this one, which is similar. And this also comes with some dodgy looking wiring attached at the bottom from its previous use. So in this video, just have a quick look and see uh, what kind of state they're in and if they actually work and uh, if they need any repairs. This is the first meter. It's a uh, Ferranti F2Q100. It's one of these that's been refurbished or at least resold by somebody. Uh, it's got these little RDL labels in here and someone's added this yellow bit in there. Uh, from 1979, got the uh, 79 in there. And it's the usual setup with the terminals along the bottom. Uh, it's 150 revolutions per kilowatt hour, uh, single phase, two wire, 240 volts, 50 hertz. Uh, this yellow label is something of a mystery because they've actually stuck this over, uh, presumably to alter the uh, maximum rating of it. I uh, can't quite actually see that, so we'll take the lid off and have a look inside. Right inside then we've got the label which says 60 amps maximum. Just be inclined to peel that away and see what's hiding underneath. Right, well there we go then, 20 to 80, so for some bizarre reason they've decided it's now 60 instead of the original. It doesn't look too bad inside, it's quite clean, it's got the uh, nice little RDL labels there. Looks to be all complete. Disc is, uh, well, it doesn't move, it's got a great blodge of fluorescent paint on one part of it for some reason, as well as the original black mark at zero. This is the other one which is in a considerably worse state. Uh, as you can see, it's got this uh, coating or something on the actual casing, whether that's just general dirt or whatever. It actually came with this wiring attached. That presumably had a plug on it once. That's got a uh, three pin socket. And whoever's done it has just attempted to twist the earth wires together there and they've just fell apart. And obviously you can see they've reversed polarity here. This is correct and this is backwards. So whatever they were powering with it was uh, connected up uh, incorrectly. And of course this is crap. This is just falling apart. Total disaster. So uh, let's just take that off. Yeah, inside it's the same uh, internal setup, they're a bit corroded. Not uh, too bad. And it turns the meter itself, again it's another Ferranti, 2280 amps, same rating as the other one. And uh, this is an FNN 2Q, 150 revolutions, kilowatt hour, single phase, two wire again, and obviously 240, 50 hertz, as with the other one. So I think we'll just get rid of this horrible wiring first because clearly that's no good to anybody. So let's just dispose of that rubbish. does undo here and unfortunately it does look excessively corroded there so yeah that's actually uh, rusted shut so that is going to have to be uh, cut off or uh, eased out with some uh, chemicals of some sort so can't look at a lot of this one at the moment so on the next video we'll be uh, opening that one and we'll see if we can get them actually working see if they're anything like uh, in the accuracy range they should be. This one again is a 73, so it's actually a bit older than the other one over here. 
other than that they're actually extremely similar slight difference on the uh, front uh, text one uh, main difference is that this one has been redone by this RDL company which I believe does a lot of uh, electricity meters this one appears to be almost original so once we can get this open we can then just compare the two and see uh, what uh, if anything has been done all right so that's it for this one so just a quick look to see uh, what sort of general condition they're in and it appears one of them is in uh, far worse than i actually imagined uh, this one i just noticed has this label that's stuck at the bottom which is from the uh, company that refurbished it and if we remove that it used to belong to east midlands electricity board